Hey everybody, so as you know, I am, you know, getting a new car soon, so I thought I could let you guys uh, know a little bit about the car that I've been driving for the last 12 years. It's a fairly important car in my life. I, I get weirdly sentimental about things, and I'm weirdly sentimental about this car. This is a 2005 Volkswagen Jetta. Had it since, well, 2005. I bought it brand new. Little dings in the car, like right here. Um... Actually, there was a horrible, I don't know what happened here, like some kind of, um, somebody backed into me on the parking lot or something, there was a little ding there. You know, it's, and it's dirty as hell right now. It's missing the little center hubcap thing that has normally a VW logo there. So, uh, oh, and the headlights have like super dimmed and fogged over the years. What can you do? I thought I would clean it out and you guys could join me in that whole process. So, uh, yeah, here we go. First things first, let's get the, the recycling over here so I can put a bunch of paper and crud all over the place. None of this, I don't need, I don't need none of old receipts. Yes, this one's like three years old. That was the last time I got it serviced. I don't need any of this junk. Oh my God, like, I'm, what am I, a hoarder? It's disgusting. All this stuff, old receipts, don't need any of this. Yeah. Bottles and cans, just clap your hands. Oh, that water? That's like an ecosystem going on in there. You know how long that water's been there? I'm actually fully disgusted right now. That's just so gross. Oh, that's for the dog carrier. More ketchup packets. Okay, is there anything here? Receipts. What's this? Is that the workout that I was doing the other day? Yeah, that's the workout that I was doing. Trash, trash. Old napkins. We had to keep a lot of napkins in here because when the dog starts drooling, you know, the dog starts drooling. So this should be interesting. Here's the uh, glove compartment. This is something I never actually go into. So here's some insurance documents. Holy crap, CDs. Old CDs that like my wife made me way back the CD is called Terrible Songs That Make You Want to Kill Yourself. Oh, here's a very descriptive one. Music and stuff. Pixies, that's my wife. What else we got in here? We got an ice pick, Febreze, Benadryl. There's no way that's not expired. Expired 11 and 2010. Wow. And here, here's the, here's the kicker. So when I got a new stereo put in, this actually has a, a third party stereo that I put in a couple years ago. Um, it actually had a connection for an old iPod. So uh, this has been in there and, and, and like all the music on this is like at least five to seven years old. Does this even work? Still works, look at that. God, that's from back when I first bought it. This is trash. That's trash. Ketchup packets. What is with the ketchup packets? So many pa ketchup packets. That's, oh, that's gross. All right, so here's the console. This is a bunch of change for like parking meters and stuff. This is just trash. All right, the cave of secrets. What have we in here and why is it in here? There's tape. Why do I have tape? Old, crummy glasses that need to be sold at a garage sale or something. This little uh, thing, which I'm not gonna need that anymore. Pens, which are good, old, crappy glasses, Ray-Ban, fake Ray-Bans. Another one of these, do I need two of these? Pens that I'm sure don't work. Some weird money clip. Why do I have a money clip in here? And then there's this. This was my boutonniere at my sister's wedding. This is actually the most important thing that I wanted to get out of the car. I got this, my sister's been married like 15 years now, something like that, maybe more, maybe closer to 20. And I've had this ever since. I've had this in, I had this in a previous car that I transferred over to this car. And I'm gonna transfer this to my new car. I think it's just sort of a good luck charm. I've never really had any issues with cars when I had this. Um, and it just kind of like uh, makes me feel good to have that in my car and think of my sister. So that will be moved to my new car. I mean, this is downright terrifying. Got an umbrella. Look how much dog slobber 
is not an umbrella. That's a dog slobber, all of it. Good gourd. We got random receipts in the magazine. Random receipts, stuff I don't need. This is supposed to go. That's supposed to go on my, uh, around the battery. Oh, there's no way that I need any of this stuff. What is this? Old dog veterinary receipt stuff. Oh my god, why do I hang on to receipts? All this trash. Trash. We got the grocery bags, because I'm a hippie. Around to the other side, what do we got? We got, oh my, my Jason Mraz hat. Another random water bottle. More receipts, more foil, aluminum foil. Just aluminum foil. Probably from breakfast burritos that I got first thing in the morning. This is a box full of mugs, coffee mugs, extra coffee mugs that I'm supposed to take to Goodwill and donate. But we're probably gonna sell them at a garage sale now. More stuff in the back of this seat. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff. What is all this? This is music from work. Oh, that's music that I stole off my work computer a long time ago. Stuff I do not need, and I don't know why I hung on to it. Oh, that was from a play that a friend of mine was in. Very cool. More CDs. Oh, that was a little, a little, little love CD my wife made me. Beads from the Mardi Gras parade. Actually, that'd probably be the St. Patrick's Day parade. I'm like reliving my entire life here, man. I just found something that has never been used in the entire time that I've been in this car. So in the back seat, this folds down. Um, for some reason, it's being stiff. Come on. <sighs> okay. But it has a little cup holder thing on this uh, on this rest. That has honestly never been used. 13 years I've had this car. I've never actually done that. Didn't even know it had, didn't even know it was there. Oh, well. Could be worse. All right, so many grocery bags. I am such a hippie. Grocery bag. Grocery bag. Random towels and stuff. Tennis racket that was an amazing present that I got and I've not been playing tennis nearly enough lately. This is a great tennis racket, actually. Tools, this actually goes with the car, so that will stay. These are tools that need to come out of the car. Jumper cables, that can stay with the car. Hey, look, hey, bags. Trash, trash, and trash. So over here, is a bunch of rope, which I had used to tie down some stuff. Um, probably want to hang on to that. Random duct tape. Never throw away duct tape with tennis ball stuff to it. This is a camera battery, probably for a camera I don't even use anymore. A microphone duber thing. Did not even know that was in the car. Could actually use that. It's just trash. In the bucket. Ooh, need it. Okay. Oh, this rope. Oh, see, it's tied in over there. Yeah, I use this to strap something down in the car. All right, well, there it is. The, the, the car is empty. And, um, you know, like I said, I get a little, I get a little sentimental about objects. It's probably kind of silly, like that squirrel poster up there. That squirrel poster is probably gonna have to go because um, that's where I'm gonna need to put my, my charging station. But, um, yeah, you know, this car has been good to me for a long time. I've been through a lot in this car. I've been through two marriages, one divorce. <laughs> And um, lots of miles, lots of years, traveled to see my sister getting cancer treatment. She survived, and I traveled to see my grandmother um, in the hospital with cancer who did not survive. So 
Um, anyway, I'm going to be selling it at CarMax or something like that. But uh, that's, that's the old car. That's the old Jetta. And someday soon I'll, I'll reveal the new car. But uh, you're just, you're just going to have to wait on that.